Two of the key questions I get asked all the time is how much did a big four pay and how long does it take me to progress at the big four? So that's the purpose of this video. We're going to be answering those two key questions. So we're going to be looking at the big four from associate level up to director. So basically everything apart from partner, which will be covered in a separate video. We're going to be looking at the base salary um, you receive. We're going to be looking at the bonus you can receive as well, along with the time taken to progress at each individual stage, grade, rung of the ladder, whatever you want to call it, to give you kind of a comprehensive overview of what you could earn and how long it's going to take you to get to a particular position within the big four. I've also created the big four salary guide, so there should be a link appearing somewhere up here, but if not, there'll be one down in the description or pinned in the comments, and that'll give you kind of a detailed overview of the points we discussed today, um, along with a, a bit more information as well. So a couple of caveats before we kick off, because without doubt I will get the comments saying, oh, I earn more than this, I earn less than this, blah, 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 blah. So a couple of caveats. Firstly, the data for this is based on my own experience um, at working at PwC. The information between my kind of network from other big four firms looked at averaged, I think about a thousand glass door reviews where people kind of openly publish their salaries and bonuses. There's a variety of blogs I've used. So I basically collected all of that information, smashed it into this one Google sheet here in front of me, and I'm gonna be taking you through it. So these are gonna be averages. You know, they're going to be a bit of a range. You might earn slightly less than this. You might earn slightly more. Typically, you know, some service lines like audit are paid less than others that are more profitable like consulting. So take this as an indicative guide. Secondly, the data is mainly gathered from individuals in London. So if you're working in the regions in the wastelands outside of London, you might get paid up to maybe 20% less. If that's all good, let's dive in. So typically when you join the big four, whether that's PwC, KPMG, EY, Deloitte, as a graduate, you'll join as an associate. Now an associate typically earns a base pay of around 32,000 pounds. And there is a small element of bonus in this. It differs per firm. Um, some do have a bonus for associates, others don't. But on average, you can expect a bonus of around 1,000 pounds. So in total, as an associate, you'll probably be earning around 33,000 pounds per year. Now typically the move from associate up to the next level takes around two or so years, two, two to three years, I'd say. Now, this is where there's a slight difference because at PwC, you move from associate to senior associate, whereas at the other firms, KPMG, EY, and Deloitte, you move from associate to assistant manager. So there's no real difference in the roles and responsibilities, um, just a difference in the title. So you typically move into the next level, senior associate, assistant manager, after around two to three years. And it's not really a performance-based, promotion, it's more of a time-based promotion. So if you're doing a professional qualification like your ACA or CA qualification or you know whatever you're doing, you typically get promoted to that grade once you're officially kind of qualified and recognized by whatever professional body and you'll start performing. So it's not really a performance-based piece, it's more of a um, time-based. But once you get to that level, you'll be typically earning around 50,000 pounds as your base salary and your performance-based bonus can be up to it really depends, but up to around two and a half thousand pounds on average, bringing the total compensation to 52,500. And so you'll be at the senior associate or assistant manager stage for about two years before you can make the jump to manager. You'll be earning a base salary of around 65,000 pounds and your bonus increases quite a lot at this point. It can go up to 8,000 pounds. So the total when you're a manager is around 73,000 pounds is your kind of monetary compensation. Once you've made manager, the next kind of step is the senior manager. And it'll typically take you once again, kind of two to three years um, to get to this point. As a senior manager, once again, you have a fairly large salary increase. So you'd be earning around 90,000 pounds as a base salary and your bonus can be up to 10,000 pounds as well. So you're looking around more of the 100,000 pound mark at this point. You're gonna be at this stage, typically two to three years. That's the average for each individual level. At that point, you'll jump to a director, which is basically the penultimate stage before you become a partner. As a director, your base salary will be around £130,000 and your bonus can be anywhere up to £20,000, bringing your total compensation um, to around £150,000 in total. So there's quite significant jumps at each individual stage because obviously your experience and your kind of responsibility obviously jumps and obviously the salary reflects that. But typically, on average, it can take two to three years to jump up each individual step. So use that as a bit of a guiding principle. If you put a shift in, you can accelerate that a lot more. I've known people, for example, make manager after three and a half years and four years. I've known people that takes kind of seven years to make manager. So it really does depend on, you know, uh, kind of 
what you put into the company. So how does this compare to other graduate schemes? Well, the big four, the starting salary is a lot lower compared to kind of other prestigious high demand graduate schemes. For example, like investment banking or law it does depend obviously on the firm you go to, but the average starting salary is around 55,000 plus. You know, you can get paid around 20,000 pounds more. Investment banking and law are obviously more competitive. You'd probably be working slightly more hours, but it's something to consider. If money is your main motivator, it might actually be better to go into an alternative profession. There's also a variety of other graduate schemes that have really been bumping up the salaries. So for example, Audi, uh, one of the discount retailers, their graduate scheme as an area manager is offering a starting salary of £50,000 and you also get an Audi as well as a company car. So the big four kind of starting pay for graduates may seem good, but when you compare it to the other kind of opportunities out there that you may be able to pursue, it is significantly less. So something worth considering. In addition, obviously we've just been looking at the salaries here. The salary is kind of the output for the effort. For example, you know, you work for the big four and they pay you a salary. I think it's really important to consider kind of the inputs to earn that salary, which is basically your time. If I reflect back on my experience of the big four, I was working around 50 hours a week. It was probably more actually during busy season, January, February time, but a bit less in the summer. If you take that kind of associate average salary of around 33,000 pounds divided by the 50 hours kind of per week, you're left with around 12 pounds and 31 pence per hour. And now if you actually compare that to the national average, so according to the office, office, so according to the Office for National Statistics, the average salary in the UK is around £38,000 and the average working hours are 36. So if you look at the average hourly pay in the UK, it's actually £19.23. Roughly, let's say £7 more per hour than your starting salary at the big four. However, obviously it doesn't take too long at the big four once you progress to kind of uh, pass that. You know, once you become a manager, you will be earning more per hour than the national average. I hope you enjoyed that one. Remember to download the guide in the description, which will give you a bit more detail about the salaries and progression. When you're looking at a job, you need to be considering more than just money, you know, cultural factors and stuff like that, because you'll be spending a hell of a lot of time at the big four. You want to make sure it's a good fit for yourself. But anyway, until next time.